Well, thanks for joining us for Friends at Five. I'm Brandon Taylor. Darcy and Andrea both have the evening off. We begin tonight with an update on the Allen Benedict Court investigation. The solicitor's office says no criminal charges will be filed in the two deaths that led to the evacuation of the Allen Benedict Court apartments in Columbia. 61 year old Calvin Witherspoon Jr. and 30 year old Derek Roper died from carbon monoxide poisoning at the complex back in January. And after reviewing all of those factors, it is my determination in my legal opinion that probable cause does not exist to pursue criminal matters in General Sessions Court. Simply said, the Fifth Circuit Solicitor's Office will not be pursuing criminal charges in this matter. But let me be abundantly clear. The decision not to pursue criminal charges in General Sessions Court is not intended to be a commentary either directly or indirectly on civil liability. They have been cited in the City of Columbia Municipal Court for failure to have carbon monoxide detectors, failure to have working smoke and fire detectors, having no fire extinguishers or not having or, uh, fire extinguishers that were up to date, meaning they had expired fire extinguishers, and the presence of exposed wires. On Monday, the Columbia Police Department served 22 criminal summons on the Columbia Housing Authority. Those summons address 22 categories of the International Property Maintenance Code, in total 869 violations. Again, that's 869 violations that were documented during the inspection of Allen Benedict Court property, which consists of 25 buildings and 244 units. A court date has been set for January 22, 2020 in the City of Columbia Municipal Court. Our Jenna Corzina explains what investigators say they found during their investigation into the Housing Authority. More than 10 months ago on January 17th, two men, Derek Roper and Kevin Witherspoon Jr. were found dead inside their apartments at Allen Benedict Court from carbon monoxide poisoning and 411 residents were displaced after city officials closed the doors to the complex. Now, after nearly a year of investigating, the Fifth Circuit solicitor announced there will be no criminal charges pursued. The Columbia Housing Authority was cited in 22 categories of violations. In the investigation findings, 869 violations were documented during inspections at the Allen Benedict Court apartment property. There, they have 244 units in 25 buildings. Columbia Police Chief Holbrook says the number of violations found is unprecedented, and he had never seen that many on one site before. Some of their other key findings in the investigation showed a single inspector was tasked with inspecting more than 2,000 units, which Chief Holbrook says is simply impossible, as well as extremely poor record keeping and no preventative maintenance was being done on appliances. Two engineers examined gas appliances in Unit J and found a furnace vent was the cause of the carbon monoxide and also smoke tests were performed. The fire department also cited the Columbia Housing Authority and says this all could have been prevented. In the studio, Jenna Kurzina, News 19, WLTX. All right, Jenna, thank you. Now, Chief Holbrook says there is a court date on these summons set for January 22nd of next year.